It may seem ironic to some people, but in the current debate about gene editing technologies, Judaism is more progressive than many secular views. These gene editing technologies have the potential to cure a vast array of genetic diseases, including Tay-Sachs, Fragile X, Cystic Fibrosis, different forms of cancers, Alzheimer's, and autoimmune diseases. The ethical issue of applying this technology to a fertilized egg highlights a fundamental difference between the secular and the Jewish halakhic perspectives. Secular bioethicists have expressed concern about and opposition to the tampering by scientific research with evolutionary processes. In the view of halacha, there is no magic evolutionary process that must not be tampered with. Human beings serve as partners with God in the creation process. The Talmud relates that Rabbi Akiva was challenged by the Roman general Ternus Rufus to defend the Jewish practice of circumcision, the apparent mutilation of the Creator's work. Rabbi Akiva compares kernels of natural wheat with man-made bread, indicating that the works of man complete nature and are better than the unfinished works of the Creator. Another area of dispute is that some secular bioethicists condemn these gene editing practices because they violate the autonomous rights of the unborn child. Halakha, by contrast, emphasizes the need to improve healthcare as a vital factor in allowing gene editing technologies. In the Jewish community, many potential shiduchim, matrimonial matches, fail to materialize when genetic testing reveals that both parties are carriers of Tay-Sachs or cystic fibrosis or other recessive-linked genetic diseases. If gene editing procedures are proven to be safe, these couples could now choose to get married and have healthy children by applying these biotechnologies to their in vitro generated embryos. Doi Yasharim and many other gene testing services may happily become just a footnote in Jewish history.